show come in. This is Antique Demonstrations, and I'm your host, Hammer Time Rods. I've been buying and selling antiques for over 50 years, so I know a lot of things because I've seen a lot of things. I'm going to take you back to the 1800s and early 1900s where farmers' lives were made so much easier with the new inventions in those days. Hey folks, how you doing this morning? It's cold out there, I'll tell you that. Uh, you've seen this name before, I know. Pabst. Well, that was Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. But that ain't what come in this box. And in the mid-twenties, Prohibition done away with all alcohol, beer, and everything. So what did Pap's Blue Ribbon do to stay afloat? They decided, we got to keep going. We can't fire everybody. So what did they do? They started making cheese. And this, this, is, a, this is a Pap's pasteurized processed cheese. And they did real good selling this stuff. They also made Pap's that, and it was a cheese spread. Take the lid off and spread it on your bread, cheese spread. And that kept them afloat all the way till Prohibition ended. And then they went back to selling beer and making beer. Now this box is, is all wood. Back in the 20s, everything was delivered to you in wooden boxes. And uh, I'd say if you find one of these, $50, $60 would be a good buying price if you could find one, but they're hard to find. Look at what we got here. We're going to make a little cup of coffee. What I'm going to do here, and now this is a Kendrick and Sons patented coffee mill. Probably from late 1800s, early 20s. It's old. Got a little, got a little drawer right here where you pull your coffee out after it's made, that cut. Let's pour up a few beans here and make a pot of coffee. Ah, that ought to do it. I don't want but one cup. You hear that grinding? I can smell it too. You know that in there, girls. I smell it. Can y'all smell it? Smells <laughs> good. Alright, let's stop grinding. Pull the little thing out. And yawn. Lord, that's going to be good. Let's pour it in the pot here. Now, once you got your coffee in there, this thing here is is an and iron. I built it, it's built out of wood so it looked like an and iron, so I give you the gist of how this works. But it's an and iron, and it goes in the fireplace. Your fire's here, your fire's right here. So you go and put your coffee pot right here on this little brass thing, and it was made in the 1800s. You slide it in toward the fire real close, in a little while you got that coffee just a boiling and you can smell it all over the house and then you pull it back out reach in there and get it out and pour yourself a cup of coffee now what I'm showing you here is this and this this coffee meal right here should be about 125 bucks if you found one it's, it's a good solid cast iron coffee meal this this is a real neat little thing. It's 1800s, blacksmith made. And uh, you can see how everything is put together by blacksmith. I'd say if you buy one of these for $125, that would be a pretty, pretty good buy. Folks, you're going to love this. This right here is a drink mixer from about 1880 to 85, somewhere along in there, made back then. And it was in the saloons. They kept it in the saloons. And when them old cowboys was be out riding the range, rustling them cattle, bringing them in to, to eat and all that stuff, pasture to pasture, you talk, you talk about dusty. Now, they you know they got dusty. Man, they couldn't wait to get back to town and get in that saloon, bust them swinging doors open, walk in there. And Here's what the old bartender would do. He'd go over there and screw that little cap back, roll this thing back, Take the lid off, 
take the glass out. So he'd grab his liquor, he'd pour him some liquor in there, put that cork back in it. Now here's the old strawberry, cherry, whatever kind of mixer it might be. You know it was sweet. Pour some of that in there, give it a little color. And Lord, you know that old, them old cowboy's mouth was watering right then. You take, put this lid back on there, drop it back down in the mixer. Pull this little baby back up over it. Tighten it up real good. You don't waste none of that good stuff. And here's the way it works. You get a hold of this little handle here and you got a leather strap right here and a leather strap right here that turns these things, as you can see. And it mixes them babies up perfectly. Mixes them perfectly. Check that out. Them old boys' mouth's watering right now, ain't they? Let me tell you right now. I don't know how long they'd turn it, but it didn't take long because it'd be like, that's enough. So anyway, here's what they'd do. Old bartender undo it. Roll over to the side. Take the lid off. He'd set it down. They'd throw their quarter down. He'd set it down. They'd reach over there and pick it up. They'd go. Ah, you're a genius bartender. Hey y'all, hey like this little knife sharpener, or sharpener of any kind. I like this because it's chain driven. You don't see knife sharpeners or any kind of little grinders that's chain driven. This is probably from the 20s and 30s. And the best part about it is when you turn it like this, what's that chain? The chain is what drives this thing. Isn't it not the coolest thing? And you, you got a little, screw right here, set screw that screws up into the board, that puts pressure on it and you can just unscrew it a little bit and take it right off and go put it up or leave it on here. But that thing is, let me get my knife opened up here and sharpen it up. I may want to trim my toenails. All right, here we go. Let me hold it still here. Anyway, you, you see what it does. That's how you do it. You'd have to stand up and hold it a little better than I'm doing right now, but this gives you the gist of it, how it works. Look at that, sharp that knife already. Great scholar. But I hope you like that because that's one of the things I really like. It's stuff that's odd and driven differently instead of geared, but it's chain driven. I'd say $125 for that. Cause it's, it's 20s, 30s. I like it a lot. Folks, thanks for watching Antique Demonstrations. And don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe.